Does your dog have a skin infection or in veterinary terms, pyoderma? Some of these home remedies, they can work great. Hello, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. You're invited to my brand new webinar on omega-3 supplements for dogs and cats. Specifically, we're talking all about skin disease and my top natural remedies. You can collect the link in the box below to sign up. Skin infections, also known in veterinary words as pyoderma, are very common in our dogs, and especially our dogs that have allergies. And what would you see with a dog that has pyoderma? The most typical spot to see lesions from pyoderma, it's in the groin. I want you to have a good look into her groin, especially the areas here where the hair is quite thinning. That's the easiest to see all the lesions. The dog that's got circular areas, many clients think their dog has something like ringworm, They've got these red ring circular lesions all throughout that groin. That's not ringworm. Most commonly, that's a staph skin infection. Your dog has pyoderma. Some of the veterinary dermatologists claim that over 80% of dogs that are diagnosed with an allergy, they also have a secondary staph pyoderma. Many dogs that have ongoing allergies, say you've got a dog that's allergic, he's been maintained on some anti-allergy medication, then all of a sudden they have a break, they're no longer responding. One of the primary things many veterinarians believe is that they've now got a secondary staph infection and that's the cause of the itchiness. You don't just need to rely on the antibiotics, something like cephalexin, that most veterinarians are gonna suggest or prescribe. What else do I suggest? Number one, shampoo. The easiest is to go to your veterinarian, your pet supply store, pick yourself up some chlorhexidine shampoo. And it's a great topical way to deal with most of that surface skin infection there's also a natural option. The natural shampoo, one cup of black or green tea. Number two, the great antiseptic essential oil, tea tree oil. 40 drops to make a 2% or less dilution. Third part of our shampoo recipe is this, apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons or 30 mils. Last but not least, our concentrated natural soap, Castile soap, two tablespoons going to be applying this at a maximum twice a week. Number two, a great way to topically and orally treat your dog for a skin infection, coconut oil. Coconut oil has documented antibacterial properties, what we want, we're going to treat that bacterial infection. And it's also good for decreasing the level of inflammation in terms of helping a dog that has allergies. And most of the dogs with have staph skin infections, they've got a primary allergy. Topically, I find it easy is to use the liquid coconut oil and you can just liberally apply that twice a day to your dog's affected groin. Standard oral dose of coconut oil, it's one tablespoon per 50 pounds of body weight daily. Pippi is about 50 pounds. You're gonna be getting one tablespoon, Pipster. Best natural antibiotic, and it's been documented to be effective against staph, olive leaf extract. Olive leaf, it's from the leaves of the olive tree. So it's a darn natural product, really safe for our dogs. Pretty standard dose, about 100 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Pippi's 50 pounds, you be getting one 500 milligram capsule once a day. Next, a flavonoid that's great for allergies as well as secondary infections, quercetin. Quercetin is probably the most effective natural antihistamine. It's been well documented to be beneficial for seasonal allergies, which is typically what's causing these secondary skin infections. So it can help decrease that level of itching, decrease you know the irritation your dog is feeling as well as having some antibacterial properties. I encourage you to get the bioactive quercetin is up to 40 times better absorbed than regular quercetin, so it can be far more effective. You know, a standard dose then is about 100 milligrams per 50 pounds of body weight daily. You'll be getting two of these capsules once a day. The best long-term supplement for any dog that has secondary pyoderma, underlying allergy, the omega-3s, specifically krill. The omega-3 fatty acids, they are the most studied supplement showing a clear benefit for our dogs that have allergies, secondary staph infections. The anti-inflammatory components of the omega-3 fatty acids, the EPA, the DHA, they can be just so, so beneficial for decreasing that level of itching. When that happens, you have less skin infections. And that's what we're trying to get to in the first place. In many cases, krill appears to have a better EPA, DHA fatty acid profile, so with less inflammation, appears to be better absorbed, may give your dog a better result. This just so happens to be my supplement, Dr. Jones' Ultimate Omega-3 Fatty Acid Supplement for dogs and cats. A standard krill oil dose is 500 milligrams per 25 pounds of body weight daily. 
if he's 50 pounds, she'd be getting one of these twice a day. For those of you wondering, like how long should I be keeping my dog on these remedies? Well, in general, you're looking at a minimum of three weeks. You know, anytime we're treating a dog with a skin infection, we're looking like the antibiotic cephalaxin, it's a minimum of three weeks, or typically up to six weeks. So much the same with those natural remedies. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on pyoderma or skin infections in our dogs. If you have questions about skin disease in your dogs, about allergies, arthritis, cancer, I encourage you to sign up for my brand new webinar, I make three supplements for dogs and cats. You can click the link in the box below to sign up.